Welcome to Thoughts with CP, everyone. And today, Danielle and I are going to talk about why and how and what. Why and how of why and how and what of how we write books and why it should be. Well, next week we'll go into full um, on mold of supporting content creators with a disability but today it's going to be why and how and what we write books so i'm going to start i'll start out with my baby so to speak as you guys know my baby's still i come win that's what um most people know me for and I wish I knew me for all my books, but they don't. And so the reason why I started I Come Win is because after my mom died, I had to do something. And, and then I had to um, put pen to paper and figure out my life because my life changed dramatically. And then so that's how I um, wrote I come a win all about my journey with cerebral palsy and then I proceeded to take a break after publishing I come a win and and then I proceeded to get into novels. I am still into novels even though I'm working on a how to book and also working on two other novels after I finished journalism school because that's the way I will right now journalism school and ask when I'm taking up the majority of my time so books have got the wait and um so basically that's how I do it and how I do it is through speech dictation and yes I have it edited and yes I have all that good stuff but my main points are given on that through speech dictation and if I sound emotionally exhausted that's because I am that's because um partially my house is on the market no we haven't had any bait yet we've put the we've put the fishing pole out but no we haven't got any bait yet and so if I sound emotionally exhausted yeah that's because I've been trying to work and keep my house semi clean so I don't have to clean it when um, buyers show up but that's okay and I'll be um, I'll be getting into a life update after we um, do the content creation update. But Danielle, do you want to take it away and share why you write books and how and what? Uh, Yes, and and I was going to say you saw it because of me. I took I took the leap first. The next thing I know, uh, the next thing I know, I got a text message from Danielle saying I want to write a book, and I'm like, okay, you can't. I um I will I will say this. I'm I was a little bit shocked when she goes, I want to write a book. And I'm like, okay, jump off a bridge with your death. <laughs> it's like when Sally goes, jump off a bridge, you ask parents, can I jump off a bridge? And I'm, can I jump off a bridge with my BF? Except the opposite end of the spectrum. The BFF did it first. The BFF jumped into the <laughs> box first. And then um and then my BFF follows it on the suit. 
but the uh, story goes is that I sent that she sent me a text saying I love your book I want to find a book and I'm like okay you don't know how not only you don't know how to write a book you um you have a speech impediment and I'm like okay how are we going to do this and so I said okay all support all support <laughs> and here we go well, the two years later, she sends me an email and also a text and says, go look at your email. Two years later, the galley copy of Dan can said, you can do it too, appears in my email. I'm like, okay, <laughs> dog whistle bone, one mission to type a book. It took her two years, but that's okay. And so ever since then, She's been typing away. And Danielle, what is your latest book? Well, you're working on a book. I know you because I see you writing on your schedule, but maybe she hasn't necessarily told her BFF what the book is. No. But... no. It's your first one, and you don't know what. Oh. Say that again. No. Oh. Smell what you're trying to say. Oh. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Horse, I, I'm a little bit in my head. I, okay, horse one, and then we don't, it's your horse one, and then we don't know when that um, book is coming out. So be yeah. on the out, you guys, for that one. And yeah, be uh, just be on the lookout for Daniel's book. No, and then uh, my point being is, Danielle and I are really, really lucky that when we publish books, you guys seem to attract to these books like flies. So, uh, yeah. really, really lucky that most authors, well, I've been doing this for uh, 10 years, and um, Danielle's been doing it for a little bit less because she took the plunge after I did, as I said. But we are yeah. so lucky that you guys are, and I say you guys, my my fan base, now Danielle's fan base, um, you guys are tracks to say, like, fine, I don't know what it is. I don't, we still don't know, you guys, what it is, what um, makes it, what makes you guys attract to cerebral palsy the way you guys are trying to say up a policy. And so I um I don't know when the book is coming out. I I don't know when my book is coming out because I'm now working with a publisher, but I just need to sell my house, move, and then I'll be um settled down in my own office, which I'm so excited about. Um, yay! 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 Because <laughs> you? I, uh, yeah, I, I let's just put it this way: I put out the, the universe with help, a uh, house with an office, and I kind of picked it before it. Um, and I'm like, okay, let's let's just hope that this office works for me. And so I'm, I'm super happy. And I already told, I already told my real estate agent. I said, "Can we get a house 
with our office could be. And then we would have to retrofit um, the house with, for ADA purposes, Americans with disabilities purposes, for those of you that thought that we just spoke a new term in wins languages of the lexicons, yeah. But ADA is Americans with Disabilities Act. And yes, you can um, retrofit a house for ADA purposes. And that's what we're going to have to do. We're going, I, yeah, I won't get into that because um, this is, that's not part of this episode. I will give a complete house update, celestial life update after next week and after we do the full French content episode and why you need to support um, content creators with disabilities. But yeah, please, please, please go support independent published authors, including those with disabilities. And then we'll see you guys later. And then I'll see you guys back on this feed for another, a couple more amazing interviews. Why am I so lucky? I get to find the most amazing guests as I ran <laughs> over to meet with Danielle. I, um, I actually got phone, phone calls. I had to deal with a phone call about the podcast. I had to deal, and then as I ran over to meet with Danielle, I was just finishing up a recording, and it's like, why am I so lucky that I get amazing guests? But I don't know. I don't know. And plus, by women's empowerment show, Winning with Win, Monday mornings at 7 a.m. on IMTV. And um, hop over to IMTV. No, that is not a podcast. That is me and my PJs talking about women's empowerment with a uh, international team based out of India. And so I'm really blessed that they picked me up. They talk about planting the seeds and maybe we should do an episode about planting seeds, yeah. Um, but talk about planting the seed. They saw my work live. They said to me, well, we would, um, the director emailed me and says, we would like you back on. I'm thinking, okay, I'll be back on and I'll share my story again and on a different host and with a different host. And he goes, no, we want you to host the show. I'm like, host? I'm like, host? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. But yeah, you kind of have to let me know these things before you survive, before you almost make me jump out of my skin. And so that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing on Monday mornings. But like yeah, like this podcast, I just record. I have the magical powers of putting it up. So, um, and my show is live. So yes, you get to see me in my PJs, Monday mornings. But I've decided people don't care what I'm wearing. They just want my voice. And so they don't care if I <laughs> in my PJs. No. And so that's what I love about my fan base. They know that I have they have a Maldi and sometimes I need help getting dressed and supporting myself and they have a Maldi comes first and let's do that. And so I just want to do um, a really quick PSA for those of you that believe in flu shots. And even if you don't believe in flu shots, I don't believe in flu shots, but, but because of what's going on this year, I decided to keep myself on the safe side. And no, I haven't believed in flu shots since about 2006. I think they're icky. And, but because of 
What's going on, Lucia? I decided to keep myself on the safe side, and I decided to go get myself a flu shot. Now, the CDC says, yes, go get yourself a flu shot. And even if you don't believe in them, or if you be if you don't believe in them, that's fine. Don't go get yourself a flu shot. But the CDC says wait until you're completely recovered from what's going on. Wait until you're completely recovered, and it will come back. It we're still not out of the woods, you guys. Here we're sitting almost in November. It's October 18th. Almost in November. I thought, I thought by Thanksgiving this year, I thought when I looked back at the um, all the news reports, I thought by um, at least Thanksgiving, they would they being the CDC and the people that run the CDC would say you can have Thanksgiving with your families. Hello, then recommending that kids don't go out for Halloween. Hello, we're still in a world of the pandemic. And so my PSA is do what with what you wish with the flu shot. But I would highly, highly, highly recommend you get one because I got one and I got the flu. And even though it was 24 hours and I felt like I got run over by a Mac truck, but I would much rather have the flu than um, have what's going on right now. And so that's my PSA, and that's when I'm sticking to it and do with what my PSA says, with what you wish. And I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to let my co host go. And you guys have a great week, and then we'll see you guys next week. And we'll just keep it rocking and rolling. And then after the content episode, We'll um, do all, I'll do a life update on my life. I'll be the majority of the episode. And then, um, and then Danielle can chime in when she feels like it. But um, right now my life is changing and it's, it's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. I just have to stay positive, stay positive and so it's all going to be good. So, Danielle, do you want to lead us out? <laughs> thank you for following us, you guys. And thank you for continuing to raise awareness about cerebral palsy and all the ways you guys do it. I know you guys do it in all the ways and don't even tell me. <laughs> And then, um, although some of you do, and I would love to, um, now this is going to make me cry, you guys, because, um, I, you guys know that I was, uh, educator for many, many years. I have educators in my phone book that I love daily. And I speak to you almost on a monthly basis, if not daily. And so I want to tell the educators in particular that Thanksgiving is almost coming up. And for those of you that are looking for Thanksgiving break, which when I was in the year twos, I was looking for Thanksgiving break. I was not looking for Halloween, the day after the Halloween. Nope, so we are not on. And the day after the Halloween is not when you're in the education field. But 
for those of you who are looking for Thanksgiving break, Thanksgiving break is coming. Trust me, Thanksgiving break is not being taken away, but it is being taken away in a sense of we're dealing in a world pandemic. And, but Thanksgiving break is coming and we're going to do, I've actually switched the plans here. We're actually going to do what to get a teacher for Christmas. And we're going to do, then we're going to do the content episode. And then we're going to do my um, life update where I, I will most be doing the life update. And then we're, so next week we're going to talk about Christmas and talk about, and dear Lord, I just said Christmas, yeah. And um, talk about Thanksgiving and how you can support independent content creators and teachers alike because I have to pay homage to my old profession. I can't leave the teachers out of the dust. The teachers will be picking and knocking on my door like, when you can't leave us out of the dust, we need you. And so, yes. And as I said, it's going to be content creation. And I'm slowly but surely working on my journalism degree. And that's going slowly but surely nicely and slowly but surely up. So next week, we'll talk about what you can get a content creator and what you can get a teacher as well. And then the calling week will do the content episode and then the life update. And that's going to be that for us. And thank you guys for supporting Sample Policy. And wow to be you guys. I'll see you guys next week with some more amazing interviews. But for right now, we're out of here. Bye, you guys. Bye.